Hello friends. So today we'll learn a very important topic in SAP MM module that is the account assignment category. Whenever you create a PO through T code ME21N or any other T code that is there for creation of a purchase order, you see that you find a column named as A. If you go here and hover over this particular column, it says account assignment category. Whenever you will be creating PO, sometimes you would have entered some letters in this particular column. Somebody would have told you that you have to enter K, F, N, P or some other letter so that your PO is created correctly. But you should understand what does these letters mean and what does this particular column account assignment category mean in general. So let us take an example that you are buying coffee beans for a particular business. Now when you receive the coffee beans, you receive those coffee beans in your inventory and whenever they are consumed, you consume them against, against a cost center. So when you post your issue, then you enter all the details of your GL account, cost center, fund center, everything that is required to post that particular material from the inventory to the consumption GL account. But let's say that you do not want to do this particular step. You want to post the whole coffee bean inventory whenever you are doing the GR. That is, you know that in which cost center and in which GL the inventory is going to get posted. So what you do is you assign that particular PO line to that particular account that is the GL account and the cost center so that when you do the GL system automatically picks that particular account and posts the value and the quantity in that particular GL. So the account assignment is something which assigns your PO line to a particular account. It's like assigning a MM object to a FI object or a CO object. So whenever you are posting the GR, the value gets automatically posted to that particular account. So for that, you have something called as account assignment category. And if you take the drop down, you will find multiple entries here from A, B to up to Z. Now these letters have intrinsic meanings. These letters have control functions. That control function is configured through the account assignment category configuration. But let us see if you enter a particular account assignment, what happens with your purchase order. So if I select, let's say K, if I press enter, system will ask me to enter some relevant information to create the purchase order. So let's enter those information first. So I'll enter a quantity, unit of measurement. Then I'll press enter and see what all are required. I'll have to enter a currency. Then I'll enter the plant. Then basic price. And the material group. Now you see, system has sent me to a particular tab called as account assignment and system is giving me an error that I have to enter a GL account. Now why this error is coming? This error is coming because this particular account assignment category has been configured like that. This is not merely a letter which I am entering here in the account assignment category. This letter forces me to enter the account assignment details in my account assignment tab while I am creating this particular purchase order line item. So this is assuring that the user has to enter those account details so that whenever I'll do the GR, this particular material will directly get posted to this particular GL account and a cost center combination. So now we will see from where this particular configuration is coming and why this error is coming when I'm entering K. And if I in change this K to let's say F, so currently you can see this cost center is shown here. If I change it to F and if I press enter, you can see the cost center and order is also coming here. And you have something called as network and activity fields also coming here. So 
this whole screen configuration changes whenever I change this particular field. Let's say if I enter Q here, if I press enter, you will have the WPS element appearing here. And you can see this particular account assignment you can select from the drop down here also. So the way I am changing this particular field, system is giving me different screen configurations and they have control functions also. So now we will see from where this particular configuration is coming. So to see that we have to go to T code OME9. So the T code will be OME9. If I press enter, you can see all those letters which you were seeing when I was taking the drop down in the account assignment category column, all those letters are coming here and every letter behind that letter you have multiple configurations. Today we will only see the screen configuration. In our next session we will see other control functions also which are connected for the account assignment category and we will do some cycles of some individual account assignment categories also. Today we will see what is the screen configuration. So if I go to the account assignment category K, let's double click this. So you see here, there are multiple check boxes and fields which are entered here. We will discuss these fields in our next session. We will discuss these screen configurations today. So you see for account assignment category K, you have multiple field labels here and you have certain columns here. What are those columns? The first column is mandatory entry, second is optional entry, third is display and fourth is hidden. So this particular field and this particular column combined will come up on the screen when I enter this particular account assignment category. So you can see the asset field is hidden. The asset sub number is hidden. The cost center is an optional entry. So you can either enter it or you can leave it as it is. So this is an optional entry. If I go to the next page, you can see the deletion indicator is an optional entry, detail account assignment block is an optional entry, functional area is optional, others are hidden. Then if you go in the next page, here you see the general ledger account, the GL account is a mandatory entry if I select the account assignment category as K. And that is why when I was entering the account assignment K, I was getting this error that I have to enter a GL account. This is because GL account is a mandatory entry. In go to any other account assignment category, let's say if I go to the account assignment Q. So you see here, if I go to the first page, you see all these fields are hidden. If I go to the next page, you see the deletion and details are optional. If I go to the next page, you see the GL is again, it is a mandatory entry. Always remember that when you are entering account assignment where you have to post the value, a GL account you will have to enter. So in most of these account assignment categories, you will find the GL account as mandatory. Then if you go to the next page, you will find the project is a mandatory entry. Project here means the WPS element. So these like this, the account assignment categories field selection is done. You have another account. So this is all about the account assignment category, how the screen configuration is done. In our next video, we will see what all other control functions are there for the account assignment and we will do a simple cycle of posting a material to a cost center. We will see how the accounts are posted and how the control functions can be changed so that the account assignment can be used in a more efficient way. So let's meet in our next video. Thank you very much. I hope that you have liked this video. If you like my videos, then please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.